good evening. Okay, let's try it again. Good evening. Are you excited to be here? Okay, Diogo, tonight will be an amazing night. Do you believe that? Okay, before we head to the, uh, the highlight for tonight, first there are some house rules. Lah, huh? Okay, first, uh, as you can see, the main entrance where you came in earlier is the main uh main door to this hall and then if there's uh, any uh, you would like to go to the loo the toilet the ladies and gents you can head to the small door on on my right okay and the toilets are outside that uh, right through the right door and please take note to silent your phone because we do not want to um, your phones and, and the ringtone interrupt the session session all right and for photo taking, uh, please take note, don't uh, rush to the front to take photos. Okay, you can take photos where you are seated. And if possible, uh, no, no flash. And also, um, just for information, this curtain on my right, okay, please take note, do not go through this area and through the kitchen area behind. Alright, this whole area has been uh, closed for... Um, the performance purposes, their holding area. Okay, all right. You guys excited? Yeah. Or hyped up for tonight? Yeah. Okay, just a little background of Watoto Children's Choir. Since 1994, the choir group has been touring uh, internationally and also the, their vision and mission has been carried out through their dance and also through their music. So uh, from there, they they showcase energetic fusion of contemporary gospel and also traditional African rhythm. And through these concerts of hope, they demonstrated how God changed their life and how the love of God uh, gave them hope. So I hope all of you uh, will be blessed at the end of tonight. All right? Okay, before we start the concert, I will start off with a short prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for everything that you have done in our life and thank you for bringing all of us safely to this place. And Lord, we'd like to uphold Watoto Children's Choir concert into your hands and we pray that throughout this concert, Lord, everyone will be blessed, the performers and also everyone who hears it. And Lord, we pray for your healing power to be upon this place too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right. Before further ado, all the long waiting for this moment. Let's welcome Watoto Children's Choir.
Vivoji. My name is Lydia. Since 1994, over 1,000 Watoto children have traveled all around the world, singing beautiful music, sharing their stories, and telling people everywhere about the love of Jesus. And now, it's my turn. I am so excited. But my life has not always been this way. You know, like millions of children across Africa, each of my Watoto friends and I have either been abandoned or have lost one or both of our parents to war or disease. Yet our lives have been changed by the love of Jesus. Today, I invite you to come. Come. Come with me to beautiful Africa. Hi, welcome to our village.
was like, before we came to Atoto, yes, I do. I used to be very sad all the time. I remember feeling like no one loved me. Every morning I wondered if I could get enough food to fill my empty stomach. I felt so alone and I wished I had a mother to care for me. I felt the same. I used to pray that my life would change. I can remember wanting to go to school like other children, getting dressed up in a beautiful school uniform, and even having a pair of shoes. I had a dream of one day growing up and becoming a journalist. I used to dream too. I would dream that I had a nice bed to sleep in. I even dreamt that I had toys to play with. But my best dream was that I had a loving family where I belong. Alfonsina, I am so thankful to Jesus that our lives have changed. Watoto has given us new families where we belong. My Watoto mom loves me so much that she makes me the best food in the whole world. I even forget how it feels going to bed hungry. And now, I know that my dreams can come true. I love my new school and all my teachers. Mommy never has to remind me to do my homework. But the best part of Watoto is they have shown us the love of Jesus. Yes, we have learned that it does not matter what our past was. God is our Father, and even in our pain, He did not forget us.
everybody. My name is Alfonsina and I am 11 years old. I came to Atata two years ago. The thing I like best about Watata is our church. So let me, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to show you how worship is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah.
much, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I think some of you are Ugandans born in Malaysia. That dancing has made us feel right at home. Children, you may take your seats. Now, for all of us here on stage, when we talk about the beautiful things that God has placed in Africa, so many of them come to our minds. But we would like to narrow it down to animals. And we would like to find out from you what beautiful animals come to your minds when we mention Africa. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it this way. I'm going to say Africa, and then we are all going to respond by shouting the very first beautiful animal that comes to our minds. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. All right, Africa. Yeah. Africa. Yeah. Uh -huh. The lion, eh? Do you want to see the lion? No, do you want to see the African lion? Yeah. All right, well, we came with our lion. Uh, please send out our lion. It's okay, La, you don't have to run outside. <laughs> it's a very beautiful animal, isn't it? Let's try another animal, okay? Africa! Africa! Ah, you need a clue. All right? It starts with Z, the zebra. Very good, very good. Now, I have a question for you very intelligent people. Is the zebra black with white stripes? Or is it white with black stripes? <laughs> Let's take a look and find out. Actually, the one on the left is black with white stripes, and the one on the right is white with black stripes. <laughs> the choice is yours. But one of my favorite animals is the giraffe. Oh, yeah. And the huge elephant running around in the wild. Wow, tell me, isn't God's creation so beautiful? Yeah. Oh yes, and you know, one of the other beautiful things about Africa is our love for music. Yeah. The complex drum rhythms. Hey! Women and children dancing in colorful traditional costumes. I mean, look at the children. Don't they look so good? Yeah, yeah I think they deserve a hand clap, huh? Terry Makase, share, share. Thank you, thank you. And that is indeed true. Africa is absolutely beautiful, very beautiful. But out of the same Africa is an entire generation that has been robbed of their parents, robbed of their childhood, and even robbed of their future scarred by war and disease, rejection and abandonment have become their only family. And craving for love and affection, over 14 million children today are still looking for a place to call home. And each and every child that you see here on stage, each one of them has a story to tell. My name is Lydia. When my parents were still alive, life was very good. But all that changed when they both died. I remember mommy falling sick all the time before she died. My father later took us to live with our stepmom before he died. My stepmom was so nice to us before daddy died, but life changed a lot when he died. My stepmom started treating us differently from her own children. We used to do all the housework at home, and she would not give us food after digging in the garden for many hours. The worst moments were 
When she blamed and punished my twin sister Lillian and I for the wrong things her own children had done. I felt like no one loved us and wanted us anymore. I never had a chance to meet my father. Both my parents died when I was very young. All I remember is that with our grandmother in the village, it was not very good. Grandmother was sick all the time and we never had enough food to eat. Many times we went to bed hungry after working in the garden for long hours in order to get something to eat. The saddest time was when I watched other children go to school. My siblings and I were always just from school because of lack of school fees. I longed to have a school uniform like other children. My name is Donald and I am 13 years old. I remember the day my father died. He called me to sit with him under the sun in the compound and he told me about our future. I was surprised when later he died that evening. He had been sick for a long time before he died. Two years later, my mother also passed away due to HIV AIDS. And my two brothers and I were left in care of our elder brother, Jimmy. Our brother tried to care for us, but he had no money to send us to school. My life is a lot better in Watoto right now. But I miss sitting with my dad and talking to him. My name is Martin, and I am eight years old. When my father died, our mother took us to live with our grandmother. I don't know what happened to my mother. One night, thieves broke into our compound and they sent fire to my grandmother's house. My grandfather's band is burnt. Why trying to save my grandmother? My grandparents no longer take care of us because of the wounds they got from the fire. You see, it's at difficult moments, just like these, that we look to Jesus for comfort and for hope.
Bible says that God has great plans for each and every one of us here today. His plans are to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. So no matter what you're going through, God has promised that he will never leave you and God will never forsake you. rescued by Watoto when I was 10 years. Through Watoto, I got a chance to study from one of the best universities in Uganda. I studied mass communication and now I'm an editor. All the children that you see here today represent thousands back home whose lives have been rescued through the help of sponsors from around the world. Today, I have devoted my life to seeing vulnerable children raised up to find their purpose and become some of Africa's great leaders. Hassan, may you please share with us? I love my country, but there is too much poverty, corruption, and effects of war. We need good leaders. I am proud that through a Toto, I am being graced to be a part of a new generation that will change Africa for the better. No more darkness, but a beautiful Africa. My name is Ronald, and I'm 10 years old. In Africa, many people die from simple diseases just because there are not enough doctors and nurses. When I grow up, I want to become a doctor so that I can change that. What about you, Faith? Hi, everybody. My name is Faith and I am six years old. I have learned that God has made me special. When I grow up, I want to become a teacher. And let the light of Jesus Shine through me. Africa has great potential. Over 80% of the world's wealth is still hidden under our African soils. But Africa's greatest treasure is these children. They are a generation God is raising up to steward Africa's resource with integrity. So life becomes better for everyone. And God's glory shines through them.
have done in my life. When I was very young, my father died and left my siblings and I with our disabled man. Life was very miserable because mom used to force sick all the time. Even though she tried to work very hard, selling coal to our neighbors and other people, we still did not have enough food to eat and we didn't go to school. But one day, White stayed at the veranda by our mother selling coal. A pastor sharing the gospel said, let the little ones come to me. And even said, no one will go to heaven without accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I remember feeling so excited and I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior.
here is going to pray with you. Let's pray. Jesus, I know he hear us when we pray. Please come and heal every person who has raised his or her hand. Help them just like you helped me. Thank you, Jesus, for giving them hope. Teach my soul to rise to you. When temptation comes my way. For most typical African children, there is not much hope. All they know is, if someone is willing to take care of me, I have to work for them. You know, the day is going to break, I'm going to go to the well, I'm going to fetch water, I've got to fetch firewood, I've got to dig. It's all about work, 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 and giving and giving and not much of receiving. If they don't develop socially, if they don't come out to live a value-based life and begin to think wider than what they are seeing, then they, they, they will not be able to develop their country. Shortly after my father's death, my mom, sister, and I were brought into Watoto, and I was given uh, six other brothers and sisters to live within the house, and that became my new family. When you belong to a place like this, you feel like you're normal, I should say. You feel loved, you feel you're at home, and you live a normal life. Being a part of Watoto as a child, it's a very big advantage. Uh, compared to those who are not in the Watoto setting. They just brought everything all together right here. We have our own clinic, and just recently they started up a farm doing vegetables and all that. We have a school up on the hill. We have a vocational institute. When we go out to the local community, people out there look at us and they are like, you guys are really blessed, you guys are privileged, you guys have this very big opportunity, and Truthfully, it is true, and when I look at it, I'm like, oh God, I think I am on your best list, because it's good. My first two years out of university, 
I've had an opportunity to give back the skills I've acquired in university to be an art teacher in the school. So being their teacher, I had a bigger job to, to motivate them, to propel them forward, to build the esteem that they had lost, to keep telling them that they can make it because they, they struggle to believe in themselves, especially the boys, to tell them that life ahead is better than their past. They need to, to see what Watoto has done and believe it and take on the leadership uh, challenge that they have ahead of them. There is a lot of potential in Africa that has not been tapped. But that potential needs good leadership, real good leadership. We need people that are responsible, people that are self-motivated, people that believe in their countries, people that are influencers, you know, that they are not just there for themselves, but want to pass on a legacy. And that's what Watoto has been doing with the children. You know, Watoto has done so much for me. I don't know how to pay it. I just have to reach out to other people who are even worse off than ours. And, and, and I am sure I would feel satisfaction because I feel I feel I owe something to what you're doing. Sometimes I sit back and I think about how my life would have been like without support and without encouragement from my sponsors, my mom, my teachers, and my pastors, life would be so miserable. I have a feeling I would be gone. Maybe I would have been involved in drugs. I don't know, maybe I would have been impregnated and married off somewhere. And you know, us as human beings, we all want a sense of belonging. We all want someone to, to, to offer a shoulder to, for us to lean on. So uh, that, that is what everyone needs. So. If you're that shoulder, sure just, just offer it to someone who needs it. Africa is a continent of great suffering, but it's also a continent of great potential. The children you've just seen are a part of a brand new generation of young leaders being raised to transform our nation, and we hope eventually the continent as it spreads all over Africa. Watoto is far more than children's villages. In Uganda, thousands of babies are abandoned every year in hospitals, police stations, at the side of the road. And baby Watoto is our response to this great need. So these precious little ones are rescued and cared for at one of the three beautiful facilities we've been able to build. Here they're loved, nurtured, and nursed back to health. And when they're older and healthy enough, they graduate to a Watoto children's village. In northern Uganda, over 30,000 children were stolen from their homes and forced to become child soldiers. Through Project Gulu, former child soldiers have been resettled into families. Child mothers have been empowered, and the hospital in Gulu has been refurbished. Peace and stability has returned, and Gulu has become livable again. But children aren't the only ones suffering in Africa. The most wounded and marginalized people in Africa are her women. Millions have been abandoned and vulnerable, HIV positive and totally without any hope. But through Living Hope, these women are empowered through skill training and income generating projects so that they can provide for their own families. With the needs so extensive, Watoto has ventured into self-sustainability projects. A goat farm has been developed to produce milk to feed our babies. Food is grown and livestock reared on Watoto farms to supply our villages as well as to sell it to the local markets. Furniture making and mechanics reduce our operating costs as well as provide a training component for some of our vocational students. Watoto is now at the place where the model can be replicated throughout Africa. In 2012, Watoto was launched into Juba, South Sudan. This will be the first of many Watoto models developed all over Africa. But Watoto is much more than a childcare organization or a living hope program for vulnerable women. Watoto is a church. The church is about love. It's about justice. It's about kindness. And when you live that out in community, you can transform your community. 
Jesus is above everything, and he is at the center of everything we do. Jesus, through the church, can change a person, he can change a community, and he can change our world. We could never do what we do without the faithful partnership of friends and sponsors just like you from all over the world. Marilyn and I want to thank you for coming alongside us in this kingdom cause. As we each do our part, children and women are being rescued, leaders are being raised, and nations are being rebuilt, all for the glory of God. enjoying your time so far? Yes. This yes or this makes yes? Yes? yes. Very good. My name is Mark and I'm so privileged to be leading this amazing team of children and adults. We are Watoto Children's Choir number 67. We have been on the road since um, September. We started in Hong Kong where we were for two and a half months, went to South Korea for three weeks, and then to Malaysia. We, were in, got, we got here in Malaysia on the 3rd of December, had a bit of a break in uh, Singapore, and now we're back to finish up this uh, month. And it's so exciting to be here. Are you enjoying the new year so far? Yeah. We too, we too. We're adding a bit of weight. We're feeling well. You can see the smiles on stage. Absolutely fantastic. Now, every child that you see on stage, it is their very first time to travel out of Uganda. This is part of our training program to raise them up as future leaders. And since the choir started traveling, over 1,100 children just like them have been able to step up, go out and share their stories of, of hope, the hope that they've found in Jesus. And also let people know about the plight of the African child. And also give an opportunity to precious people just like you to come on board as we raise the next generation of African leaders. You may have noticed that the adults with the children, uh, the children could not swim alone from Uganda. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, it took us about five, five months, was it? Yeah, five months of swimming. Thank you guys for your prayers. <laughs> We're finally here. Um, that, that's a job, definitely. The adults. We are all from, are involved in different ministries of our local church back home in Uganda. This is Watoto Church, located in the capital city of Uganda, Kampala. We bring greetings from them. Among us, the adults, we have one who is very dear to us, and this is Auntie Annette. She will be helping at the tables after the concert. She's very dear to us. Because just like you heard earlier in her testimony, she has grown up in the ministry of Watoto. She has been loved and nurtured. Now, she doesn't only give back to the ministry, but to her community as well. And this is what we believe in as Watoto. Rescue the vulnerable, raise them up as leaders, and in that way, indeed, transform our beautiful continent. Under Watoto Church, there have been other projects that God has you know, blessed us to you know, reach out into the community. And one of them is Living Hope. Living Hope, a project that reaches out to vulnerable women, women with HIV AIDS, women that were involved in the war up in the northern part of Uganda, and many other tough situations. So what we do, we receive them, give them free medicine so they can live longer, but we also train them to use their hands. And they make such beautiful things, the most of which we came with and at our tables. Now, uh, I have a few models on stage that will show off these things. We'll start with our model over there, just so you understand. Very good. Now, we have a beautiful bag over there. Stop by, take as many as you can. A very good price. Now, we have also the Watoto Music over there. That is a CD and DVD. You buy two DVDs, one CD free. We just give it to you. That's still in a giving mood, a Christmas mood. 
We would, you get two CDs, we give you one more CD. Good business, eh? <laughs> Very good, thank you. All right, my motto this side. There you go, and there you go, and there you go. Fantastic, yes. I think that's like a dog, kind of dog, like a style cut with dog words. Mixed, okay. So we have scarves here. This um, scarf, or total scarf, living home. You buy two, we give you one more. Serious, this is real serious. Now then we have the Watoto dolls over there, that's a, uh, is that a giraffe or a rat? Oh, yeah, yeah, elephant, all right. So please buy as many, and now I need to warn you with these things here. When you buy many, you need to get like a zoo at home. They tend to grow big in the night. Yeah, no, don't, no, don't take my word on that. So anyway, just, Please stop by and take as many as you can. Thank you, my model. Now we have more models here. Look at that, look at that. that. Very good. Thank you, my models. We have these watch auto shirts. Please stop by t-shirts and take as many. You buy two, we give you one more. See, uh, honestly, yeah, surely. See, we shouldn't take back anything tonight. And with all that that we get, uh, helps us to look after these women and also plan our tours. Thank you very much for giving us th this opportunity. We hope you're enjoying yourself. There's still more to come. I would like to invite Pastor Kelvin to come and share with us now. Thank you, Watoto Children's Choir. You're enjoying yourself tonight? Yeah. Fantastic. Tonight we have witnessed miracles. <laughs> miracles express out in songs, in dance, and really real life miracles is just happening every day in Africa. And tonight also we want to see miracles even in giving, right here at this place. You know, I want to invite you to support this ministry. You see how wonderful God is, the work is, uh, God is doing in, in Kampala, in, in Uganda, you know, through the lives of these children, through many things, you know, you have witnessed it. You know, and I want to invite you to share in this miracle, you know, that, that God is working right in Africa. I mean, in recent times, we know uh, how bad it is for us, you know, in Malaysia, or right, right at the East Coast, happening, you know, and we, uh, I know many of you have uh, gave, you know, towards the relief in the flood victims in the East Coast. But I know that you will also bring up your heart you know, and express out in giving towards the ministry, towards the needs that's in Uganda, in Africa. All right? So would you get to stick up your wallet or your purses, you know, and, and we're going to empty our wallets. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing as well, you know, and because this is very worthwhile. You know, we are bringing hope, we are bringing life, you know, we're bringing meaning. And the little that we can do is to register to give so that these children, these women uh, and who are in need, that they can be given uh, life, can be given hope. Amen? Okay, now I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And, and as I pray, even if you are not a Christian here tonight, you know, you just bow your head with me. And I'm going to pray that as you give, our gracious God, our faithful God, our giving God will also bless you. This year will be a full of meaning because out of this giving, God is going to do wonderful things in your life. Amen? Amen. Would you bow your head with me? Father, we just thank you, God, for tonight. Thank you, Lord, God, for this miracle that God, you have brought right into our very eyes, oh God. And Lord, this miracles of God that you're working out, oh God, even in Africa, oh God, just touching our heart, touching our spirit, oh God. And Lord, Father, we just thank you, God, for this opportunity, oh God, you've given us. And the opportunity, oh God, to participate, oh God, in this miracle, oh God, that every day you're working out in New Africa, oh God, in this ministry. And Father, we just thank you, God, for what you have provided us, oh God. The Lord, the many good things in life, oh God. And Lord, tonight we can just give a portion, oh God, out on our wallet, oh God, and empty our wallet and purses, oh God, and just to give, oh God, the little that we can, oh God, just to help, oh God, even give meaning, give life, give hope, oh God, to the children, to the women, to those who are in need of oh God, even in, in Africa. Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity. May you bless, oh God, the giving, oh God. Bless those who are giving. The Lord, throughout this year, oh God, and the years to come, oh God, Lord, we will see and look back upon this giving, oh God, and we really, really thank you, Lord, because, Lord, you're just going to multiply it, oh God. And, Lord, your grace, 
Your mercy, your favor will rest upon every cheerful giver. Amen. Thank you, God, for this opportunity. We give you all the praise, all the worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. And now on behalf of our dear pastors, Gary and Marilyn Skinner, we would love to say thank you for coming tonight. Thank you so much for your giving as well. We promise to be very good stewards as we continue to do more work in Uganda and Africa. God bless you.
there are many opportunities to get on board. As a team or individual, you can visit Watoto and help build a structure in one of our children's villages. Sign up to visit Watoto and get your team together today. To find out more about Watoto and the many ways you can be involved, make sure to welcome to Watoto.Asia today. If you've just finished high school or you're just young at heart, haven't quite figured out what it is God has called you to do, Watoto has a discipleship training experience just for you. Come to Africa and discover how to change your world for Christ with Watoto 360. And since not everyone can travel to Africa, we've brought a bit of Africa to you. With lots of jewelry, bags, choir dolls, and other items made by our Living Hope ladies. Buy a gift and spread the message of hope. Follow us on Facebook and become our total ambassador. There is nothing better than being a part of the life of a child or vulnerable woman as they are rescued for desperation and grace to be a leader. Change your story by sponsoring a life today. Your sponsorship helps for total rebuild communities, cities, and nations. Remember to visit www.watoto.asia today.
children just like them, their brothers and sisters back home that still need support. You see them smiling here, dancing with energy, yes. Someone just like you has stood with them, believed in them, monthly giving them 120 ringgit per month to make sure that they are looked after. We support all the children that we have through school, through uh, university, that is the highest level of education in Uganda. Now, with people like you coming on board, we are able to look after 3,000 children, and each one of them is precious, just like you see them here. Would you stop by our sponsorship table tonight and sponsor another child just like them here? It could be a child who you can write letters back and forth with. They're also there. It could be baby Watoto, where the money that you give us goes to a pool of babies, it goes to the homes to look after these so babies under two years old. We have a miracle here. This is a, a Faith, our youngest girl in the choir. She was rescued through baby Watoto. She doesn't know her mother, not even her father. But that's all in the past. Her story now changed. She lives in Watoto, of course, with a new mother, brothers and sisters, and yes, she goes to school. 
and she wants to be a teacher so she can be part of change. Maybe we're total reaching many more lives. It could be living hope where we have also a pool of support really that goes to the women that we look after. Bring a little, we bring a little together, we can do so much more. Thank you so much for the opportunity once again. If you want to take photos, these children will be here willing to take photos with us. If you want to pray with them, they would love to also do that. You could stay back also and enjoy a minute or two with them. There will be others at the tables. If there's anything we want you to leave with tonight is if Jesus can put a smile on their faces, if he can change their story, he can do the same for you. All right? Thank you so much once again, and God richly bless you. Happy New Year. your journey here. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful team. Lord Jesus, we like to pray for journey mercy, Lord, for each and every one of them when they travel back here to Africa, Uganda. Lord, we pray that thank you uh, for the wonderful ministry that you have been um, placed in all of their hearts, Lord, the heart uh, to be a disciple and also to, to change the world for Africa, Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful community. Thank you for this beautiful nation and country, Lord. Lord, we pray that through this beautiful life, Lord. They will be history makers for Africa. We bless all and each and every children and, and adults who have been in this team. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so those of you who want to meet them personally, you can come forward uh, to take photos with them, to say hi to them, give them a hug, the little hugs. So come and come forward, Alicia, come on. Any one of you? Okay.